she's cute from the edges to the little swoop to, 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 to the high pony i'm cute i'm cute purr hold it got a donkey yeah boy know what i mean bitch on it on it on it on it they all in my face when i know what i got Love what you see. You wanna deal on my shit so high. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Terry Brianna. If you don't know, now you know. And now we're best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. Let's go popping. Okay, make sure that you subscribe. And when you do, make sure that you turn on your push notifications. And you know, follow me on social media so we can be here with each other. Okay, because it's lit over there. All right. So, I know what you're here for. You're here for this cute hairstyle from beginning to end. This, like, 90s flip, high up, swoop, pony situation. Yeah, girl, it's real cute. I'm feeling myself, okay? So, if you want to see exactly how I achieved this look, then keep on watching. And do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, mamas. Well, not bye. I'll see you in the next clip, okay? Okay. So as y'all can see, I know y'all know that I cut my hair recently, so this is my situation under my wig. Two little braids, and we're about to slick our edges back so we can put on our cap, okay? And of course, we're using got to be. So, I know y'all saw about the intro and in the title today. We're trying out this 90s popular ass style that's like been popular back in the day and is now coming back y'all know everything in fashion comes back around so i decided let me try to do it it was super easy it turned out to be super cute so i can't wait to show y'all exactly how to do it like it's so easy i promise you okay so yeah i'm just looking back my edges y'all know this is a protective style meaning that you don't want to lay your wigs on your hair we gotta protect it baby okay so i'm using a cap that's really close to my skin complexion but i'm also gonna add a little bit of makeup later so you know it can match perfectly you know what i'm saying so yeah right here i am cutting out my ear tabs i noticed that when you cut your ear tabs first it makes such a big difference when you're laying the cap like it allows it to stick to your hair that's surrounding your ear and stuff yeah girl so that's one of my new tricks and also y'all know i'm gonna be landing down with some got to be spray print so y'all are also kind of getting like a a bang for your back here because i'm also showing y'all like how i install my wigs i haven't showed y'all this process in a really long time it's been a minute I haven't been wearing wigs like that. But anyways, we're going to let that dry down with the Jimbry Blow Dry. This is from Amazon. And now we're going to add any powder foundation that matches your skin tone. I don't really like using liquid foundation on my scalp. On my scalpiana. You know what I'm saying? My little wig cap method. Do y'all? Because I don't like it. Tell me in the comments. Like, what's the benefits, girl? Because to me, it just be messy. But anyways, we're going to get the all around the perimeter of my hair. And don't forget to make sure that you put it on your part. If you do have a part, girl, I forgot. It ain't no part in this style. So, yeah, once we get that done. Now, here's something new that I've also been doing. I kind of, like, pull back the cap just so we can be covering my edges. So, you know, my wig not too far down on my forehead. And when I do that, I literally, like, make a slit behind like the front part of the wig cap and then I cut as close as possible to my hairline while leaving that piece of cap on the front that makes sense that's going to be very important you're going to notice how I pull it back it basically just makes sure that the cap is stuck to my head you know what I'm saying just extra security it's because I used to experience my hair falling out in the back underneath my wigs and that's so irritating like that's also so tacky if you have like a colored wig on you got black hair underneath all oh, embarrassing yeah so we don't need no mishaps so after I do that that's when I go back in my scissors I go back with my scissors and I um, make sure that I cut off all the excess to make sure that we have a good foundation underneath our wigs. So yeah, if I'm putting you on, girl, to the T, make sure you like this video. Like, what? Okay, so I'm being extra right now, but anyways. So yeah, I also realized that it's kind of easier to do certain steps of 
this wig process on the mannequin besides like having the wig in your hand or doing it on your head so right now i'm just using my t-pins to make sure that my wig is on my mannequin and i'm gonna put that same exact powder foundation onto my wig and if you're wondering what powder foundation it is it's by kiss i think it's a contour color i don't know i used to use it as my contour color though girl so anyways so once i put all that powder i just spray it with a little bit a little bit i got to be and make sure it's dry that's basically ensuring that the powder doesn't move onto any other area that you put your wig on but you can't spray too much because i noticed that it makes your lace hard af and i'm all in y'all face right here because my makeup is cute okay like it's because the skin underneath is doing me justice you meow okay so once we got that all together honey um i had just washed and conditioned this hair and I blow dried it, let it air dry a little bit. And I noticed that the ends just wasn't doing what they were supposed to do. Um, and I also wanted this wig to look a little bit more fuller. So I just wanted to cut some ends off. Because we had some straggly pieces, girl. We don't want none of that. And y'all know the front of your wig be looking crazy after you shampoo and condition it, girl. So right here, I'm just taking my favorite mousse. The Nerubi mousse, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm putting a ton, okay, a ton of this on the front. And don't judge me, girl. I literally had to brush the hair back with my edge brush and my demo brush because, oh, someone that took my brush in my house. I don't know. I don't know where any of my brushes are. Like, what? Like, who? who's being a thief in the night? It's like, what's going on? I don't know, girl. I couldn't find any of my brushes, but... These brushes did what we had to do today, okay? So, also, what I decided to do was, let me go ahead and get the part for the swoop and the part for the ponytail out of the way on a mannequin head because it's just going to make it so much easier to lay this wig. Girl, tell me why I ended up putting the swoop on the wrong side. So, basically, it was kind of a waste of time, but I do suggest that y'all do this because it, if I did it the right way, it would have made it so much easier. So let's just imagine that I'm putting the soup on the right side and what you're going to do is take a side part and get your section out and smooth the hairs back. Make sure the part is looking nice and neat and also want to make sure that you leave out your baby hairs, FYI girl. And you're just going to position the hair how you want it. Imagine it being on your head and then you're going to brush the hair down, okay? And you're going to just form it into a swoop. And once I got the swoop bang part situated and sectioned off, I'm going to gather some more hair, put some more mousse, slick it back for the ponytail, okay? So it's really self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to let y'all watch me work. And I'll jump in when I have some more explaining to do.
So yeah, here's where I realized <laughs> I wanted the swoop on the opposite side. So I was like, whatever, let me just pin it back and let me worry about actually laying my wig down before I go ahead and mess with this dang one swoop again. So I'm pulling y'all in a little bit closer so y'all can see how I melt this lace. She's not the she's not perfect, okay? But anyways, I'm cutting off extra cap to make sure that that's not showing underneath. We do not want that sissy pill. And I am going to go in with two layers of ghost bond. I just don't be having the patience to do three, okay? Like, don't know if I got time for all that. I really don't see a difference. I knew that I was just going to do this wig for a video and take her right off. So, yeah, girl, I'm only doing two thin ass layers. When I say thin, like, this is the key to making sure that your glue dries clear and you don't have no issues. You have to do a thin layer of glue and you want to literally smear that crap onto your forehead and to the cap, okay? like seriously and then you want to make sure that the glue is dry before you add more glue onto it and make sure that wherever you're spreading the glue out with make sure that you're wiping it off with alcohol in between okay because it can get real messy and real sticky real fast nobody got time for that okay so yeah that's exactly what i did I made sure that everything was dry. And then I'm simply just going to place the lace on top. I'm going to smooth it out with the back of my comb. Press it out with my finger. If you're pressing it down with your finger at home, make sure you don't press too hard because your skin can also get attached to the glue. And then it's just a sticky situation that don't nobody got time for. And before you do this, you should wipe your forehead with the glue. I mean, girl, don't wipe it with glue, shit. Make sure you wipe your head off with alcohol. But I already had my makeup on, so I wasn't doing that, okay? <sighs> you got me bent backwards if you think I'm about to mess up my makeup. Like, what? I was cute this day, so no ma'am, no ham, no turkey. But yeah, I needed some more glue in certain places, so I'm just taking more glue on the back of my rest of comb, adding it where needed. Y'all know the drill. And after that's all completed, I'm going to simply lay this down. Uh, lay yo, lay yo, lay yo. Okay, I, I'm playing too many games sometimes. I laid it down with an elastic band, okay? And I waited like 10 minutes. <laughs> Y'all, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why I got so much energy. But anyways, now that that's on, we're going to go ahead and redo this daggone part. But it's soup, whoop. Soup, whoop. Okay, so basically... Y'all got another, y'all, I'm, I'm really giving y'all the tea, okay? Because I showed y'all how to do the swoop first on the mannequin. And now I'm going to show you how to do it on your head. Period. Period. Y'all know, okay? So, mousse is your best friend when it comes to this style, girl. You literally just, you literally just got to apply a whole lot of mousse and have a whole lot of patience. And make sure your part is bomb, okay? If your part not cute, you're not going to like the style. You want to also make sure that you leave out your baby hairs. I don't know how many times I can say that because that's very important. And, yeah, just swoop and maneuver the hair until you get it to your liking. And don't worry about this little piece of wig that's coming up. I'm going to lay that down in just a second, okay? So, I need another break from talking to y'all, okay? So, y'all already know I'm about to do a ponytail. I'm going to slick the hair down. I'm going to wrap it with an elastic band. And then I'm going to wrap that with some hair. So we can camouflage so it can be cute and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. I'm going to let y'all listen to some music real quick, okay? Because this is real self-explanatory.
Okie dokie, so I'm back. I just want to let y'all know that all I did to secure the swoop was spray it with some Gatsby spray, blow dry it a little bit, and then I really secured it with a couple of bobby pins. And to make sure that the um, bobby pins are camouflaged, you want to cover this swoop with the hair from the back section that you're going to pull down in just a second. Right now my hair is tied up in a ponytail, so you can't really see it. But yeah, that's all I did, and this swoop came out cute, okay? I noticed I really can't do swoops with my natural hair because my natural hair is curly and all it does is curl right on up on me and that's not cute. But I definitely can do it with a wig, so ow, period. Okay, so now the hard part is definitely out the way and all you have left to do is detangle your hair, spray it with some heat protectant. I think I used the IC. Yeah, I just use a little bit of the IC Fantasia. Any heat protectant that you use for your choice, you just want to make sure that you spray a little bit because you don't want the hair to be weighed down. So yeah, that's all I did. And then I just simply flat ironed it. I got this flat iron from Target. I think it was from Conair. It was $20 and that's it. That's all. It's kind of difficult to get the, the flip. Perfect, but just know that you're just supposed to flip the hair away from your face. I'm not perfect at it. You're gonna see me go over it a couple of times because I def didn't get it right the first time. And I also flat iron my ponytail. And then I'm just going to lay my edges down afterwards. I think I used mousse. And yeah, I told y'all this was super easy. Except the first step to so we filing filing it. So no one is filed. No. But it's coming. Yeah. So yeah, you guys, this is the final result i'm loving it i'm like still playing around with it because like i can't believe it actually came out this good she's cute okay carry it you can see how you can know you can you can tell that i like this style because like my voice got high pitched but yeah she's cute from the edges to the little swoop to the high pony i wish the pony was a little bit thicker maybe y'all should try like teasing it at the top or like literally just gathering more hair i could have easily did that yes i really enjoyed playing with these with this her today she's super duper cute 
Comment down below if you like this style. Okay, comment down below another style that I should do. Send me a DM on Instagram. Send me pictures, you guys. I don't know if y'all know this, but I am trying to start a new series on my channel called Protective Style Sundays. So, this is technically a protective style because none of my hair is out. So, if you have any um suggestions please send me pics and tell me the name of the style and stuff let me know what style y'all think i should try but yeah that really wraps up this video i hope y'all enjoy if you did please be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video bye mamas hold it better don't pee yeah boy know what i mean bitch on it on it on it on it